All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Elder Scrolls. My name is finally waiting in a tavern without a drink is maddening. But what if you could do it? And Mog hasn't been helpful. His solution to every problem involves a great amount of alcohol. <laughs> what news of the bastard who murdered my mother? Did you find him? We tracked down and killed the Queen's assassin. I would have preferred to see him dragged back here for a proper trial and execution. But at least justice has been served. Were you able to determine who was behind the murder? Was it connected to the threat you came to warn my father about? Yes, the assassin was a vampire who was working with the Ice Reach Coven. Damn those Reach Witches! And damn my father for being so... so obstinate! But what does the Coven want? Are they planning to kill my father? What else can you tell me about this threat to our kingdom? The Coven can summon devastating storms that wipe people's minds and turn them into monsters. That's horrible. But there must be more to this than simply turning my people into monsters. Well, I'll do what I can to help you. Mother would have wanted me to. What you've done and discovered will be enough to convince my father. It has to be. You and Lyris risked your lives for my kingdom and have been met with nothing but suspicion. You counted on my mother to be your advocate, to convince my father of the coven's threat. <clears throat> now she's gone. I'm no substitute, but I'll speak for you. Will the High King listen to you? My father hasn't heard a word I've said since I was old enough to talk. But with mother gone, someone has to make him see reason. You know, she tried to teach me, but I never listened. I guess maybe I'm more like my father than I care to admit. The Coven isn't acting alone. Someone called the Ashen Lord commands vampires and werewolves. That makes it even more imperative that he heeds your warning and takes action. All of the holds are in danger. Hoffingar, Hjalmarch, Karthog. My father needs to do something before another storm strikes. Meet me at the Blue Palace, all right? I'll meet you at the Blue Palace. I... I just need a moment to think about how to approach this. Consider the words to use. My courtly manners are a bit rusty, and I've never been much for diplomacy and fancy speeches. Shore's bones, I could use a drink. Watching your mother die in front of you must be must have been devastating. Do you do you need some time? Feels like I've been shattered into a thousand pieces and swept under a rug. But I don't have time to mourn right now. Not with the kingdom in danger. No. Let's go talk to my father before I change my mind. Wish me luck, Mog. Get luck. I suggest a slug of Kindle Pitch Whiskey. You'll need it to stand up to your father. Whiskey, huh? spread my forces across the realm to search for nightmares you dredged up from a bottle it's not 
Or should I say, the whispers of Eastern Vipers tickling your ears? But Mother... Enough! Then next you come before me to vomit up your counsel. Make sure it doesn't stink of treason. Wow, man. Damn the man. He wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Mother always knew how to talk to him. Me, not so much. Tell me how your mother would have handled that. Mother had a way with father, but she could be just as stubborn. If she wanted something done and he wouldn't oblige, she'd do it herself. Time to take her lessons to heart, I guess. If my father won't take a stand, then I suppose it's up to me. Our kingdom consists of three holds. Hoffingar, Hjalmarch, and Karthold. I need to warn them. The Jarls might listen, even if my father won't. I'm the daughter of the High King, after all. Time to start acting like one. Will you come with me? I'll accompany you to see the Jarls. We should visit Jarl Redharn of Hjalmarch first. If we can convince him of the threat, at least his hold can take steps to protect itself. We'll find him in his hall in Morthal. I'll leave word for Lyris with Mog so she'll know where to find us. Do you think you can get Jarl Redhorn to listen to us? Honestly, I don't know. But Jarl Redhorn tempers his warrior nature with a kind that's not often seen in people of his stature. Besides, he's always had a soft spot for me ever since his daughter and I played together at moots and other gatherings. Have you and your father never gotten along? I remember a time when we were all happy together. Him and mother and I. Seems like a long time ago. At some point, he became more and more involved with the trappings of power. He was more interested in being the High King than my father. But you got along with your mother. I tried, but interaction with my father made it difficult. She wanted us to be a family. But the High King wanted a queen and a princess. Eventually, he stopped ordering me to attend royal functions. It was my one victory in our relationship. That was quite the spectacle. <clears throat> Audiences for the day have concluded. Please remove yourself from the throne room. Danger in the holds. See if I can teleport. Okay. Lucky Mog passed along your message. I would have hated to miss all this mud. Why does the Princess of Solitude? Grace my humble hall with her royal presence. Are you here on behalf of the High King? I've come to warn you, Jarl Redhorn. Warn me? I already received orders from your father. What more is there to say? Orders? Uh, right. But you need to prepare the hall's defenses. And what must we defend ourselves against this time? More urns and fetishes? Please, Jarl Redhorn, let my friend explain. The threat to our holds is worse than you can imagine. Hmm. You 
you're not a subject of this realm, and that woman with you. She's the giantess of the East. The High King warned us to beware of packed spies. If Princess Svana trusts you, however, you have my ear. Tell me about this threat. <laughs> Giant is of the east, huh? The Ice Reach Coven can summon deadly magical storms. One storm already destroyed. Kill Kreeth Temple. We're not Daedra worshippers. Our blood's hot enough to boil a blizzard. We've got more pressing concerns than some northern squall. We received Svargrim's orders, promptly ignored them, and immediately ran afoul of a gaggle of Reachmen. High King Svargrim sent orders? The High King sent a royal decree. Said to leave any strange objects or fetishes we spotted around the hold alone. They were dangerous, he said. Just so happens we found a few. I had my soldiers destroy them. That's when we encountered the Reachmen. Sounds like the Ice Reach Coven's ritual items. Tell me about the Reachmen you encountered. The barbarians reacted poorly when we destroyed the strange witch sticks. We beat them back and chased them into the nearby barrow. But that was the last I heard from my soldiers. Since you dealt with this before, would you investigate the barrow? I'll go to the barrow and find out what happened to your soldiers. If I were a few years younger and had more soldiers to spare, I'd march east to the Morthal Barrow and deal with the sorceress nonsense myself. But I'm not. I don't. And I have other responsibilities. Take this key. It will get you into the barrow. Goodbye. I already know about the sticks. That mound? That's the barrel. The entrance will be down below. Keep back! The barrel is unsafe. Jarl Redharn sent us. What happened here? Reachmen. Let's talk if you want details. You, sir! The barrel is off limits. We are here to make sure nothing gets in or out, and will do so by any means necessary. Jarl Redhorn sent. <laughs> <laughs> She's a trip, man. Y'all Redhorn sent us. He said he hasn't heard from the soldiers he sent to the barrow. I did not want to spare the soldiers. Let's keep spec. Left to send a message. Must be French. We destroyed a number of strange sticks set up on the outskirts of town. Then we reached the barrow. We spotted a few reach barbarians. I sent word and we charged after them. Then what happened? A storm appeared in the barrow, if you can believe such a thing. It was foul and magic, almost certainly. Soldiers began changing around me, dying or falling into a stupor. Some turned into monsters, and then the Draugr clawed out of their graves. Did you see one of those strange sticks in the barrel? We never made it that far inside. And when the storm hit, it was all I could do to get out and seal the door behind us. If the Jarl sent you, and you're intent on entering the barrow, I won't stop you. But if you emerge as a monster... Goodbye. I'm not emerging as a monster. You don't have to worry about me.
We'll just follow these guys. Get all your work done for you. Come on. Man, it's a big help when other ones are doing the same mission you are. Or even if they're just randomly exploring, still. You can grow mushrooms. A draw two hundred and fifty. That's insane. soldiers. Dude, that was insane. I mean, ran right through that. I probably would have took me another like 10, 20 minutes to do. If you want to include fighting the um, if I never have to the lackeys, that would have been probably another 30 minutes. Soon. sign of that witch of the reliquary she ran off with we should get back to the Jarl's Hall what do you think we saw down there we saw the last stand of what could have been a much larger attack on Morthal 
The witch pike in the barrow was the only one that wasn't destroyed before they performed the ritual. Soldiers were caught in the harrow storm, but the town was spared. So that's why the soldiers became harrow fiends? That's what happened in Kilcreath after the storm hit. I'm more curious about the witch, though. Why was that gray reliquary important enough for her to grab it and run off as soon as she spotted us? Come on, let's go talk to Jarl Redharn. I'll see you at the Jarl's Hall. I remember this town had like a spear. It was haunted or something in Skyrim. You guys remember that? It was a quest. It was like a spirit. Oh man. It's like in bits and pieces, but I remember some of it. It was like haunted or something. And then Mog threw up all over the sword thane's boots. <laughs> Ha! This orc friend of yours sounds... Ah, your... Well, friend of Svana, are you as good as your word? Tell me what you discover at the mortal barrow. A few of your soldiers escaped, but a harrow storm claimed everyone in the barrow. A harrow storm? Like the thing the princess was telling me about? The thing that destroyed Kilcreath? Gods! A pox on the Reach and its barbarian horde! What else? What about the Reachmen in the barrow? We destroyed a witch pike and dealt with the Reachmen. But one of the coven witches got away. Disappointing, but not unexpected. Reach witches are a tricky lot. Still, you have my thanks. In the meantime, Yalmar shall prepare for war. We may not have a defense against the Harrow Storms, but we can be ready to attack once we have a target. As soon as we find out where the coven leaders are hiding, Vana will send word. With you and Lyris' help, we've gained the trust of Jarl Redhorn. My father respects the Jarl. That will go a long way in convincing the High King to take the Coven's threat seriously. Now we need to do the same thing at Carthold. Tell me about Carthold. Jarl Ulfwen rules the Hold, which was established to provide a defensible border against the Reach. If any of the Western Holds can deal with this threat, it's Carthold. But first, I have one more thing to discuss with Jarl Redhorn. Jarl Redhorn, prepare your forces as you said. But we need you in solitude. Solitude? I have troubles here in Yarmarch. Why should I leave when my hold needs me? High King Svargrim won't listen to us, but he might listen to you. Get up, Princess. If you think it will help, I'll talk to your father. Lyris, please escort the Jarl to solitude. Of course. What about you? We need to warn Jarl Ulfwen, so we're going to Carthor. All right. Ever snow in. Oh, we got a ways to go.
was a nice little spot. Nice little spot. Right in front of me. Stay inside. Stick together. We'll, we'll take care of this. These people, they're from Carthwatch. They might be all that's left of the town. What happened to Carthwatch? They say it was a storm. Powerful. Devastating. It engulfed the entire town. It had to be a hero storm. That's the only explanation. There could be other survivors. Maybe even Jarl Ulfwen. We need to make a search. All right, let's head to into Carthwatch. Let's hurry. Every second we waste could be the difference between life or death. What is to become of me? You escaped the battle. No matter. Is she the one that escaped from the barrel? Too bad you arrived so late. Your life energy would fit perfectly in my reliquaries. Fast, they come. Protect the Grey Reliquary with your lives! I need a moment. Let's ah, talk over there. Let's bring such silence before they strike. Gods. Sorry. Guess I'm not completely used to the fighting and all. That urn, though. The Grey Reliquary. The witch was adamant about protecting it. 
gathering it up. She said something about our life energy. Oh, gods, I think I know what they're doing. Tell me what you think you figured out. Remember what the witch said as we approached the town. This time we'll harvest all the grey reliquaries, she said. That our life energy would have fit perfectly in the urns. I think the hero storm steals life energy and puts it in the reliquaries. So what are you going to do, princess? If the Jarl is still alive, she can take care of herself for a while longer. The witch hasn't gathered all the reliquaries yet. I say we get to them first and destroy them. I won't let these bastards profit off the destruction of Carthwatch. Alright, let's destroy the grey reliquaries we can find. Won't bring my people back, but the same goes for the Grey Host. Done. Now let's check on the Jarl. Her hall is right up the hill. The ritual is stronger than ever. Stay back. Don't make me. Oh, you're not one of the witches or their monsters. I... I thought this was the end for me. I barely have the strength left to conjure a light breeze. Wait a moment. Is that Princess Svana? Uh, Svana and I are here to help. Tell me who you are and what happened here. I'm Magister Fridelia. I serve Jarl Ulfren as her court mage. I've been fending off witches, vampires, and these crazed villagers since the chaos started. There was a storm, definitely magical in nature. It turned our own people against us. What about Yara Ulfwin? Is she still alive? I... I'm not sure. I sent the Jarl into the cellar when the storm began, when I still thought it was just a bad storm. Please, go downstairs. Make sure the Jarl is safe. Cartold would be lost without her. I'll try to find Jarl. The cellar. Jarl Olfwen is in the cellar. Make sure that she's all right. Jarl Olfwen! Oh. I need to get some more. Please, recover the crown of Cartold. We can't leave it down here. <laughs>
That sucks. She still got affected even though she was in the basement. That's insane. I'm sorry, Fidelia. You're all when she's That's the Carthol crown. Jarl Ulfwen's gone then? I failed her. You did everything you could. It's a wonder you weren't affected by the Harrow Storm. Harrow Storm? Is that what you call what happened here? Why I didn't turn into a monster is a mystery. Wait. The Hold soldiers clashed with Reachmen scouts a few days ago. They brought back these medallions the scouts were wearing. An Ice Reach Coven medallion. I've seen them before. You had this on you the entire time? Yes. I was preparing to study the enchantments I detected upon it when the Harrow Storm struck. I guess I slipped it into my pocket without really thinking about it. Could this be some sort of protection against the storm? It certainly seems possible. We might be able to use that knowledge to protect the kingdom. Girth watch is gone. No people. No Yarl. The seat of the entire hall. Wiped out. Just like that. I have to get my father to take action. What should we do now, Svana? We need to get back to the Everest now and gather the survivors. Take them to solitude, where they'll be safe. At least as safe as we can make them. Then I have to have a serious talk with my father. I'll make him listen to me, damn it, no matter what. What do you want me to do? Return to solitude. Find Lyris and meet me in the Blue Palace. I have a room upstairs that we can use. We need to come up with a plan. Something that will help me convince my father to act. Magister Fridelia. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and see if you grow. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.